I bring you warm greetings and great appreciation uh, during this time of our celebration of the 200th uh, anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth, of Nursing Week, and for the frontline care you're giving at this time of tremendous demand in the COVID pandemic. As nurses, you care for people in some of their most vulnerable times, providing care for bodies that are broken, that are in pain, that are fragile. And I just want to thank you for that daily life-giving work you do. One of my phrases for my nursing experience and for my interviews with and observations of many nurses over the years has been that nurses become intimate strangers. When I was 18 and just become a nurse, 20 actually, um, people would say to me, oh, because you're a nurse, you'll understand this. And of course, it would be years before I could comprehend the vulnerabilities they exposed or what they were talking about. But nursing enlarged my heart, enlarged my understanding of the human condition. And I will never forget a story uh, by a nurse from a university hospital who talked about caring for this young man in, in his early 30s who had been in a horrible motorbike accident, multiple fractures, head trauma, and so he was in the hospital for two months with very complicated, complex care. So they limited the nursing, the number of nurses exposed to him. The nurses learned from one another. If they had a good tip, they passed it along about how to position him, how to help him get through the day. And finally, the glorious day came and he was discharged to a rehab hospital. He didn't say much that day. But three months later, he comes back well-dressed, walking well, and he said, I need to talk to the nurses who cared for me. And so they arranged and they were just so happy to see him in such a good state. And he said, I just have to say and let you know what a profound impact you made on my life. I, uh, I'm in finance. I live my life and had lived my life up until this time, thinking that it was pure exchange. You could expect to get maybe a measure of what you've given. It was all transaction, all exchange. And here I was, I had nothing to offer. And yet you cared for me compassionately. You made my days bearable. You paid attention to me, you knew me, you knew what gave me discomfort and you responded to me. I could not forget that as I left because I could no longer really believe that life was just an exchange. You taught me profoundly that without care and without the kind of generosity and mercy that you gave to me, I wouldn't be here today. And it changed the way I look at life, the way I experience life, and I am profoundly grateful to you. Well, this is a good story of intimate strangers, is it not? Where we meet in common humanity and where we respond to the vulnerability and suffering another, and we attend with our caregiving practices. Uh, we allow the person to matter to us. When we first begin, we're tempted to use distancing, control, and uh, objectivity to protect us from the pain that you encounter in your nursing practice. But that really isn't very effective. It's the skill of engagement, the skill of involvement that is more protective. What these nurses did made them more resilient and more connected to their practice of nursing as a vocation. I would encourage you as nurses on the front line during this COVID pandemic to tell your stories, to clarify for yourself now that there is so much attention on what nurses offer, that you clarify for yourself what you were doing, give it language, understand and, and record 
the pain of caring for patients in ICU with COVID who are now more prone to delirium because you're in masks, the family can't visit. There are so many altered things in the way we practice and how we go about our work. The risk is greater than we have experienced usually. So I, I encourage you to capture this time because it will take us years to absorb the meaning, the cultural transformations it's creating, but I expect daily you are impacting your patients and their families in a way very similar to this young man.